now that we know what's up with beards and how to grow the proper beard, uh, let's talk about hair. So what's what's up with hair these days? What do you see these guys coming in, in here to get? And what do you advise on uh, getting a good haircut, a masculine haircut? Well, well, Chris, you know, as you know, Boardwalk Empire, um, you know, and all the gangster movies have had a very large um, influence on the way, you know, some of the younger guys and the hipsters are all wearing their hair these days. One reason is just out of pure popularity of just the, the, the vintage Americana, you know, kind of coming back and people embracing it, you know, made in the USA. And, um, you know, just going back to those times when, you know, um, you know men got their hands dirty and, and, and really cared about their grooming and we're in the barbershops every day. So, you know, the clean, the clean cut comb over is very popular. Um, you know, really popular for the young guys. You know, for one, they have time to go to the barbershop once or twice a week to maintain a haircut like that because we all know a close buzz, you know, comb over is, is doesn't last very long. It's a very high maintenance haircut. But um, at the same time, that haircut goes very well with beards. You know, you know, you'll have the you'll have the, the clean cut comb over, but then you'll have a nice full beard, something the way we're wearing ours, right? But what guys have to remember, you know, you know, whether you're going to a salon or a barbershop, always have an idea of what you want. And most guys are like, well, you know, um, that's why I go, because I don't know what I want and I need help. So what I'm asking them to do is to at least just kind of start with, you know, you know what their daily routine is. Once they start there, they kind of realize like, you know, um, what type of lifestyle, you know, they're really living in. And that will kind of dictate their haircut, okay? And what I mean by that is like, it's obvious if you're, you know, if you're a banker or a lawyer or whatever, some companies you have to have a clean face and you have to have the hair off of your ear, okay? So you know you're limited there, right? Um, and then you have some guys that are, you know, I'm like yourself, entrepreneurs that have a lot more freedom and you know how they can wear their hair, and so it's really based around lifestyle. It's 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 really based about you know what's comfortable for you, you know. And and guys should share that with their barber or their stylist. They should share with them you know what they do for a living. You know what are their um, what are their daily habits. You know are they in the gym? You know most guys overwash their hair. You know uh, a lot of guys are washing their hair every day. You know? What do you recommend? You know what? Uh, you know, back to lifestyle. If you're in the gym every day and you're hitting it hard, then yeah, you might want to. Yeah. You might want to wash it every day. If you live somewhere where the water's harsh, just rinse it. The water is so harsh, it's going to clean your hair. You know, regardless. So, so it's really about lifestyle. You know, and I, I tell guys to, you know, look in magazines, find photos. You know, that they like. You know, some guys, you know, is going. You know. They're gonna look in GQ. You know, some guys are gonna look in outside magazine for things, but that's gonna tell, that's gonna tell their barber or stylist a lot and give them direction on where they wanna take their client as far as like what kind of hairstyle. So as far as, you know, to answer your question about, you know, what's in, like I said, you know, the trendy stuff is obvious. You know, it's very obvious that, you know, the comb over the part, the high and tight, yeah. that is, that's a, a lot of it's very, very trendy. It's, it's high maintenance, it's, it's very trendy, um, and you're gonna see a lot of that, but. Like I said, at the same time, do what's best for you. you know, do what's best for you, do what works with you, um, you know, for you, and you'll be way more comfortable and you'll be way more successful.